you must be wondering, who is this man and what is he about to say? You probably think I'm uh, involved in this play or, or something, in some, some role like actor, director, producer, or some other well-defined role. But the truth is, I can't really say anything definitive about myself. Just as I can't say anything definitive about this play. And the reason for that is, well, it's pointless to talk about reasons. Everyone and everything has a reason. Although the reason very often given for something is not the real reason at all. <laughs> Who am I really? I try not to think about that when I'm up here. You see, what I'm here is not what I'm out there. Although, why would you be interested in what I'm out there? Let's just say that I'm the man you bump into the sidewalk, you turn around, stare at me, but beyond that, you don't give a damn about who I am, what I do, what company I keep, and what my life is like. You don't give a damn about me, just as I don't give a damn about you. At the moment of our collision, you mean to me exactly what I mean to you. Nothing. <laughs> and so, it could very well have been you up here on this stage instead of me. For two people who just randomly collide into each other, we're very alike, you and I. As are you and that person. And you and you. And you and me. In fact, if you break us down into our tiniest bits, there's a little bit of me in each one of you. And that is the reason why, within or outside this play, I do not have a well-defined role. And like me, this play too is undefined. Because? Because I'm in it. <laughs> and I determine what happens in the play. <laughs> so, in this play, um, there's a family. And it's a special set of circumstances. It could have been a different family, or a different set of circumstances, but I would still determine the events in the play. The Savitri of the play could have been a different Savitri, who would then suffer me differently, or Savitri could have taken on my role, and then I'd have to suffer her. <laughs> Any which way you look at it, the events in the play continue to be indeterminate, and right till the end, you would not be able to tell who had the main role. Me, Savitri, the circumstances, or the connections between us. Of course, it's entirely possible that uh, I'm just making excuses for being an undefined character in an undefined play, and that it is uh, not difficult at all to give this play a more well-defined form by adding a character or two, or removing them, or by changing the circumstances here and there. In fact, after you finish watching the play, you might have some suggestions yourself. Meanwhile, you'll be seeing this undefined character many times.
This is what our Prince Ashok has been doing all day long. Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, Hema Malini. This is how we spend this time. Ah! A prince has left his personal touch here. If you're at home all day, the least you can do is fold your own clothes. You make yourself tea. You put the tea cups back in the kitchen. It's simple. <coughs> but no, even that I only have to do when I come. Oh, you're back from the office. Got an earlier bus. I've come home after a full day at work and there's no one home. Where were you? I just went to the market. What exactly happens at home when I away? Every day I come home and there's things scattered all over the place. Here, let me get that. Now you want to help. Couldn't you have done this earlier? Quality. Just me? Did you have to bring the entire trip for just one person? Did you give Kini a milk? I haven't seen her in a long time. How could you have seen her if you're not at home? Went out for a little bit. If you say so, how would I know? We'll be home in a little while. Will you be at home at least then? Who? Oh, Sivaya? He has been invited to some dinner somewhere nearby. He said he'll drop on his way back there just for a few minutes. So you invited him again? I do not care. He's my boss after all. That doesn't mean you have to keep inviting him. How would you know? I'm the one who has to work under him. When is he coming? I don't know. Whenever he is on his way to that dinner. Well, <coughs> very nice. People in the office are jealous of me because he has already come here two times. Oh, so everyone at the office knows that he comes to our house? Fine. Is that a bad thing? When did I say it's a bad thing? I think it's great. I know exactly what you're saying. Then, uh, then I shouldn't say anything at all. I should just sit here quietly. But then you say, why are you sitting here quietly? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to that. He's been here before. Have I said a word? Because you were ashamed. Because you do not want to be at home anymore. I just went out for, a, uh, for some work on that day. Today will be the same thing. Actually, I, I do have to go somewhere. <laughs> but if you think I should stay, then I'll cancel my plans. No, no. Don't change all your plans on my account. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Do you want some? Sure, if you're making one for yourself. <laughs> oh. Achha, what happened to that uh, strike that was being planned in your office? You know when it happens. No, but will it happen? Are Baba, why are you so interested in that strike? Huh? Hey, look at this. The strike's going on everywhere. Do you really have to go somewhere? I was thinking of going to Juneja's place. Oh, to Juneja's? We don't, have, we don't have the money to pay him back, but uh, that doesn't mean we need to hide. No, no. No need to hide. He's come back after six months abroad. Maybe he's planning to start a new business. Maybe he can uh, give me something to do. Of course. He's already helped me so much in the past. Why not a little more? This house is probably so dusty. I don't know where all this dust comes from. You were very unfair to him. He's always been helpful. Nah, you would have done much better without his help. Fine, then I won't go there. It's not like I'm going there for myself. So far, I have not had much luck in my career, but that doesn't mean that things can't change. Can you get up? I have to dust you. Go sit there. That's already dusted. <laughs> in the office and this business invest the same amount of money. Huh? Same that, same expenses. With one was lucky and the other wasn't. You have become some a business expert or what? Why are you standing? Why? I can't stand up. <laughs> you can, but only at home it seems. Chan, now if you had been his business partner, what would you have done? But I wasn't. You were. It I'm the one paying the price for it. Do you have any idea how much money we took out of the business? First we took out all the capital and spent it. Who spent it? Me. Of course not. It was me. How could it be you? 
Do you know how much money you are spending in those days? 400 rupees per month on the house. A refrigerator on installments. Private school for the children, taking taxis everywhere. Ah, expensive booze, grand parties. But all that was fine, now. Nah? Are you trying to start a fight with me? You're the one who wants to fight. So you have an excuse to leave any comes. Again, he'll come, find you absent and wonder, why does the husband always have to be somewhere else? In fact, he might even think that I sent him a deliberately. Arre, chodo. It's not he made an appointment with me that I need to be here for him. Ah, from now on, I'll ask him to make an appointment. After all, you're such a busy man. Who knows, we might be in some board meeting or something. No, you never miss an opportunity just... Now that Juneja has come, I suppose he'll be gone for days on it. You have to bring that, huh? And by the way, whenever I've been gone for days at a time, why do you think I left in the first place? I don't know. Only you and your son would know. He also goes on for days at a time. Are you comparing me with him? No, I'm comparing him with you. So he is also ruining his life the same way you're ruining yours. Achha. And what about our daughter? Who taught her to ruin her life? I have never thought of eloping with anyone. What are you trying to say? What is there to say? Go make your tea. Water must have boiled. I'm aware that the water has boiled. Whenever I invite someone, you always have to behave this way. Nah, 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 nah. You are asking time and again to find a boy job. And when I'm trying to... Of course! Him. Of course he will find your job. That's why he's taking the trouble to come all the way here. You should be grateful that an important man like him has accepted our invitation. Oh, but I am. I am always grateful when a new person starts coming home. First it was Jack Mohan, then it was Manoj. Huh? Go on, go on. <coughs> say whatever you want to say. Don't hold back. Oh, the moment I mentioned Jagmohan's name, the claws came out. <laughs> you know, you're such an ungrateful wretch. I feel a minute just... Mommy! Mommy! That's Becky. Must be the same thing. Can you go and see what she wants? Mommy, I have 50 paise. I don't have change. You have 50 paise on you. There must be some money left from buying that milk. I spent all of 5 paise on myself. On this newspaper. Oh! Come, sit. Where's mommy? Must be in the kitchen. Mommy? Ah, oh, Vita, come in. Come in, come How are you, Vinny? I'm fine. Do you want a cup of tea? No, not right now. I need to wash up first. I feel so sticky. What's uh, wrong with your eyes? Why? What's wrong with them? You tell me. It's nothing. I don't know what you're seeing. I'll go wash up now. <coughs> Looks exactly like the last time. Your tea. This time she doesn't even have any luggage. Maybe she's come here for a short visit. She had all a one rupee in her purse. Not even enough for the auto fare from her house to here. Maybe she came here from somewhere else. You were always trying to make excuses for her. For once, why didn't you come out and ask her straight? Ask her what? I have to tell you that. <coughs> you know, I never thought he was a good man. But you like... Always praising him to the heavens. Manoj this, Manoj that. If you hadn't encouraged him to come home so much, maybe she wouldn't have eloped with him. And then maybe she wouldn't be running home like this. Why don't you ask her whatever it is you want to ask? How can I ask her? Why not? Would be right. I understand. Anything that requires you to do something is always wrong for some reason or the other. I don't. You have the answer to everything. Things in this house had happened the way I wanted them to. Mm. Who knows what condition this family would have been in. Without my job, we all would have been starving. That girl would have been an old maid and no one feel much better. These days it's so hot. What? Why are you both looking at me like that? <coughs> After the tea comes back in the kitchen. <coughs> Daddy, what's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. It must be something. Nothing, your uh, mother was just saying something. What was she saying? <laughs> Actually, I was saying something to her. What were you saying? Oh, oh. something about you. About me? <laughs> what about me? Well, she's back now, she will tell you. <laughs> so, what was daddy saying about me? Ask 
come back to town. I met him the other day in the market. He said he's gonna going to come and visit us. Daddy, please. What? I'm just praising him. Go ahead and praise. Go away, what? Penny, why is Manoj saying all this now? He used to come here day in and day out. Why didn't he say anything then? I didn't ask him. Why not? Because I don't feel that he says these things with such confidence, mommy. I start getting angry with myself. Just I want to destroy everything around me. He likes my hair, so I want to cut it short. He's not in favor of me getting a job. That is why I want to go and get one. It doesn't matter what or where, but do something that for once will cause him pain. But I can never do it. And when I can't, I get so frustrated and... Then you come here. No. I just disconnect with him. Stop talking to him for days. Gradually things get back to normal. Just the same cycle starts all over again. I mean, I come here because... Because this is your home? Yes, my home, but... I come here to try to find what it is in this house. <laughs> that makes him say all these things to me. Is it, is it in the doors and windows of this house? Or the wall and the ceilings? Is it in you? <laughs> or daddy, Kinney, Ashok? Where is that awful something? He says I brought it with me from this house. Mommy, can you tell me? What is it? Where is it? In a minute. In a minute? When I'm hungry at school, I don't have any money. So when I come home, it takes hours for me to get my milk. I told you, you'll have it in a minute. I'm going to wash it. I'll go. Can you tell another book today? I didn't have to. It fell apart by itself. <laughs> I didn't raise my class. The teacher said the same thing again. We'll talk about it later. First you always time. want to talk about it later. If you don't get to the yard for me tomorrow, I won't go to school. You know what the teacher said right in front of everyone. You and your teacher are driving me crazy. Then why don't you stop sending me to school? I can sit around all day doing nothing. Like Shoki. You talk about your older brother like that. Why? Doesn't he sit around all day doing nothing? Kimmy. Oh, Asif. You don't remember what you said about him when you lived here. He's your older brother too. Even if it's just for a year. Mommy, you let her talk like that. <laughs> if I had said something like that to her. Who had said something like that? What did they have to say? Pointless. I'll go warm my milk. I have to have the yarn by tomorrow. And Miss Banerjee said all girls must have three kids for the Founders Day Parade. How many? Three. All girls must have them. <laughs> and you said you definitely gave me new clips and socks. Did you buy them? I feel so ashamed going to school in torn socks. Can me? When you came home, your bag was open and everything was filling up. I'm the one who put it back in. Go keep it Did in you even hear what I said? Yes, I did. I'm talking about clips and socks. said even half the things she's saying, you would have punished us. Huh? What? What were you thinking? Nothing, nothing. I was just checking to see if the house looks okay. We are expecting a guest. Who? Singanya, our boss. <laughs> He's been coming over lately. <laughs> Mama, what's the matter? It's nothing. It must be something. It's nothing, Vinny. Mama, you must be used to hearing such things by now. Why do you let them hurt you? Mama, you are the one that takes care of this family. If you yourself will get... I can't take this anymore, baby. I can't do this. If you can't do this, then who will take care of this family? Ever since we've been old enough to understand, I've watched you sacrifice your life for us. What good has it done, huh? You have to fill this entire house with the dust. I'm just looking for Junaidas, fine. Fine. Fine, I'll be careful. Mommy, he's teasing me again! Why are you shouting? I'm like shouting that? because Shoki is teasing Call me. Call me Shoki, Shoki. Call him Ashok Bhaiya. Ashok Bhaiya? Him! What is Ashok doing in the house at this he time? He was sleeping till now. I woke him up and he started pulling my hair. Oh. 
I was sleeping. Don't lie. Okay? You just stopped shaving entirely, haven't you? Nah, this thing is growing the goatee. What do you think? Doesn't anybody listen to me? Okay. The bathroom is pulling my hair, and he is talking about his goatee. Ashok, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. How old is she? That's exactly my point. Should a 12-year-old girl be acting? How old is a 13-year-old girl? अरे ये 13-year-old girl is a 13-year-old girl, but this girl I tell you. She's a girl, not a child. She's been pulled hair like that. Okay, so I must admit I was wrong. Yes, you should. And I shouldn't have pulled this book from her. What book? Lies. I never took a book of his. What book? अरे this book. Lies. Oh, lies. I've never seen that book before. You haven't? You were just sleeping with it under your pillow. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> Let me see. That is not for you. It's that. It's that. That Casanova book. Ah, why don't you ask me? Stop. Later? Can anyone tell me how old I am? <laughs> huh? Anyone? I don't know. I simple question it is. How old am I? You don't have to ask that question to prove it. No, 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 no. Today I have to ask that question. Uh. How many years have I borne the burden of this life? How many of those years have I provided for this family? After all that, where am I today? Everyone talks back. Everyone thinks it's okay to insult me. I was just trying to. Hey, everyone has a reason. He said this because of that. She said it because of this. I just want to know what is my status in this family. Can anyone just say anything to me, and I have to shut up and take it? Endless insults, constant sniggering. Is this my lot after all these years? Why are you saying all this to? Who can I say? Is there anyone who listen? Those who should think I know better than another person to be used and needed and then discarded. That's another big accusation. Huh? No, no, wait, wait, wait. What does it mean, man? Yeah, yeah. Power, status, respect. Oh, Come on, right? Oh, Has please. anybody in the house received any of that from him? How can he say that? No, no, no. I cannot say. It. I cannot. Actually, I'm not even a rubber stamp. I'm just a piece of rubber. A piece of rubber that's been used again and again until I am this one. So let me ask you once again. Is there any reason I should continue living in this house? There is no reason. I just asked a simple question. Yes, simple question. Power, status, respect. Only outsiders can give us those things. Anything good that has ever happened to this family has been because of outsiders. Hmm? Anything good that will happen to this family will also be because of outsiders. I am only messing things up. That's all I'm good for. Why is he sitting at home unemployed? Because of me. Why, why did she run away from home? Because of me. And you, for years and years, why you have you been trying so desperately? I am listening. See. I am responsible for ruining my life, for ruining your life, for ruining their lives. But I'm still hanging around. <laughs> Because I know I'm lazy. Deep down, I know that I'm an idler. That my bones are creaky. I don't know if you really feel this way. Oh, oh I really feel this way. I'm a termite. Why? A termite that has eaten this house from inside out. But I've had my fill. I am done. In any case, why should I hang around when there is nothing left to eat? <laughs> Mama, do you think that every Tuesday and Thursday is the same thing? Exactly. Who? Who? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Is that toast and charcoal? Come here. No, I won't. Come here, I said. No, I won't. In the bedroom, my hair is full. If I go outside, everyone gets upset with me. And now you want me to come to you so you can slap me? I mean, no, I won't. I'll go take care of her. Ashok, Ashok, come here. Let me go see what she's gone off to. Come here and listen to what I have to say. Sit. Sit. Ashok, don't go anywhere today. He'll be here any time soon. Who's he? Mummy's boss. What's his name? Oh, that guy. Have you met him? Yeah. 
Interested in something? I'm not interested. Ashok, you are interested in only three things: sleeping all day, cutting off those pictures, and stealing something or the other from home to go oh, buy those. Two. Home? You call this a home? Why do you live here? I think of that all the time. Ashok, mummy is just trying to say that. Please, okay? I know what she means. You don't live here, I do. Maybe you should consider that option seriously. Mama, why would you say such things? What? What? What does this family think I am? A machine? Huh? Grinding away day and night. Somehow, someone trying to make ends meet. But does anybody care what Mama does? Does anybody have any sympathy for me? Mama, what? Mama, mama. <laughs> sir, 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 please welcome, come in, come in, please, sir. please come in, sir. Uh, sir, this is my older daughter Bini, <laughs> and you've already met Ashok. Ah, this is the girl you told me about. Uh, she had an operation last year, right? Uh, no. Oh no no no, that was uh, that was Mrs. Mathur's daughter. <laughs> was it? Well, it was someone's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meet so many people. Mm. Oh. It's already 5 to 7. And well, they requested me to be there by 7 sharp. Uh, you see, they have invited many people just to meet me. Ah, you told me about it. What college did she go to? Uh, I don't know. Sir, she is not in college now. Oh, yes, yes, you told me. Ah. <laughs> Why don't you sit down? Uh, Abhika, why are you standing? Sit down. Mommy, he said he has to leave soon. I'll put the kettle on for some tea. Oh, oh. No, 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 no tea. I uh, anyway don't drink much. There was this article about uh, drinking too much tea. I think it was in the Reader's Digest. Now, the Reader's Digest, that is something else. Uh, in this country, you don't find magazines like that. Uh, maybe an article here or there. The other day, visiting <laughs> America, and, uh, he was saying that... Uh, I have to go. Wait, Ashok, sir. I sure you won't have to go. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Uh, uh, so, as I was saying, our company does business all over the world. So, naturally, we have visitors from everywhere. The other day, we had an entire delegation from Japan. <laughs> Say what you will. But the Japanese have shown us all how it is really done. So, the other day, I was looking at the industrial output of Japan and when I got <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no tea, no coffee. <laughs> I just remembered a story about coffee. It is from a long time ago. When I was uh, president of our college literary club, I have been interested in uh, literature from a very young age. So, uh, what I was... <coughs> Why don't you sit down? Oh, sir, I really have yes, to go. Yes. Sir, I'll get you some snacks. Uh, I have seen you somewhere. <laughs> Me? <laughs> really? Uh, at an interview perhaps? No, no. I don't think so. Uh, still. Uh, maybe it was a girl who looked like you. 
Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange. What? You see that many people look alike. Oh. I have an uncle. If you look at him from behind, he looks like our finance minister. <laughs> <laughs> and I have an aunt. If you cover her face, she looks just like Zinutama. <laughs> peculiar things in this world. <laughs> oh, did I forget it? Hold on, tell it So, uh, as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? That we should pay attention to peculiarity. Ah, ah. And uh, what else was it? So there was something else I said before. Uh, sir, we were talking about an incident regarding coffee drinking. Sir, please have some. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why don't you have some? I have. <laughs> uh, so, sir, uh, did you think of something? What? Uh, what I told you yesterday, sir, about a job. Oh, this is a very nice. <laughs> <laughs> sir, do you remember? Uh, of course, of course. Uh, you asked me for, um, for a cousin of yours. Oh, no, 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 that was Mrs. Malhotra. Uh, who did you ask me for? Uh, for him, sir. <laughs> ah. What has he done? Become? Sir, I told you, he was in final year BSc, he fell ill. Ah. So. Yes, 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 you told me. And then he worked for a while for uh, Air India. Air freeze. Ah, air freeze, air freeze. Ah. <laughs> no, you man. Uh, why are you sitting so far away? Come closer. Uh, sir, I actually have a little bit of, you know. Oh, well, uh, nothing you can do about that. It is the climate of this country. <laughs> you know, a country with the best climate. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Last year, I went on a long trip all over Europe. But what I found in Italy was unmatched. <laughs> you know, the most unique thing about Italy. Oh. These are delicious. Where did you get them? It's already five past seven and I'm still here. Corner store. Ah, well, it's a very good store. You see, uh, I have often said that uh, in matters of food and clothing, and uh, that visiting American also was saying the same thing. That the diversity you find in this country in food and clothing, uh, not the same. Every foreigner says the same thing. Whether it is Russian, German. In fact, I would say that if you have done anything at all to diffuse the Cold War, it is, uh, for example, take the sari you are wearing. It is a very ordinary looking sari. <laughs> you know, if it had not been for all these strikes, our textile industry would have been, oh ho. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you read the notice that the Union Fellow said management? Ah, how absurd. And we already give them a very reasonable cost of living allowance. So, as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> so, you were saying uh, several things. <laughs> oh, where did I start? The most unique thing about Italy. <laughs> ah, then, diversity in food and clothing, American, German, Russian, Cold War strikes, textile industry, cost of living allowance. <laughs> Why is that terrific memory? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sir, so please have some more. Yeah, no, no, no. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> so just a little something. Why not? No, you must do something or the other for them. Any job will do. <laughs> Uh, for who? Uh, for a show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. What were your marks in college? What is that? <laughs> zero? Zero, zero, zero? Zero? <laughs> so I told you, he finally a BSc, he fell ill, so. <laughs> oh. Well, fine. I will think about it. I should go now. I am very late now. Why don't you come over sometime? You haven't visited this in a long time. Yes, I haven't met your daughter in a long time. You always remembered you. And she's very fond of all her aunties. Uh, ever since she lost her mother. Uh, sir, she's a very nice girl. Um, okay, sir, I'll fix an appointment and visit you. Can I bring you in also? Who? I show. Ah, but uh, you'll be coming over anyway. I will let you know. Uh, a show? He's leaving, beta. No, oh, he is leaving, sir. <laughs> I'm already quite late. 
Uh, you don't work? No. Uh, but she wants to. You do, don't you? <laughs> yes. No, the, the problem is uh, that... She is afraid. Afraid? Of her husband? Of her husband? He doesn't approve, no? He doesn't approve of her? No, <laughs> sir. <laughs> You see the union and... Sure, sure, of course, sir. But uh, <laughs> if you could also join me when I meet you. No. <coughs> Already quite late. Young man! Mm -hmm. uh, what is your opinion of all these uh, strikes going on in every sector? <laughs> 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 oh, that's a question! Nothing, just a bug supply. What? This country. <laughs> got it? So many bugs. <laughs> Squash it. <laughs> Squashed it! There such violence! <laughs> what does it have to do with any insect? Why not? The insects are violent against me? No, no, no. But it's a question of values. You see, I've always said that to strengthen the moral values of this country, we... Achha, have you uh, heard this uh, guru? What's his name? Uh, Marshi? Uh, he's in town nowadays. Ah, Maharishi Mirod. Ah, that is them. Uh, he also does horoscopes, but his lectures are terrific. How do you like my acting? Who's acting? I like mine, yeah. So, Ahalai was acting. Yeah, a little fun of his expense. Acha, maybe the joke is on you. What? Because he makes 5,000 rupees a month. I don't know how this joker makes 5,000 a month. Is that him? Doesn't it look like him. What's that on his head? Horns, but I decided to scratch them out. Ashok, can you go out there for a minute? Why? His car won't start. What happened? I don't know, maybe the battery is drained. We'll have to push the car. Already? He hasn't even given me a job yet. Oh. <laughs> can you imagine if he actually gives me a job? God knows what I'm about to do. Why? Oh I don't know what will become of him. What's on your hand? His body was drawing. Let me see. He was just sketching something. Anyway, he doesn't have anything better to do. He does look a little like your... Like who? Like your daddy. Daddy? No. Oh. Yes, just a little. Mama, he was drawing a guest's face. Is that oh, what he was doing? <laughs> yeah. The condition of the car matches the owner. <laughs> Ashok, come here. Ashok, come here. You know, you can push a car's engine to start, but this one? What were you drawing on this man? <laughs> what does it look like? What were you drawing? The Yeti. What? The Yeti? Stop clowning, Ashok. I look at that deep side, vacant eyes, wrong that time. Like these antics of yours. You hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you. And do you have anything to say? You have nothing to say? What do you want me to say? Achha. So you have nothing to say? Fine. But when I go through all this trouble to invite people home and you make fun and draw these cartoons, I'm not going to tolerate it. Do you hear me again? You know, if you can't tolerate it, why do you invite such people that come here and... Come here and... Oh, what? never mind. I want to leave before he even came here. No, no. Finish what you're saying. Come here and make us feel worse. Worse than we actually are. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. The type of people you invite, why do you invite them? Why do you think? Because there's always something important about them. The first one was an intellectual, the second one made 5,000, the third one was a chief commissioner. Huh. You don't invite them for who they are. You invite them for their name, salary, power. Oh, so you're saying that I invite all these people home to be little the members of our family? Very much so. I invite them because I'm trying to... Because what? Why don't you tell us why you invite them? Because I'm trying to salvage the fortunes of our family. Because I'm alone. The burden of this family is heavy. Someone in this family should be helping me out. That I'm trying to build these relationships, it's not for me. It's for you. But if you're humiliated, I'll stop trying, of course. But I'll just say this. I'm not going to bear the burden of this family alone anymore. One of the men in our family lost all our money and hasn't worked a day in years. And the other? The other will not even lift his finger to find himself a job and if I try to help him, he is humiliated. Huh? So tell me, tell me, why am I the one banging my head against the wall? Why, if 
nobody cares about it here, why am I torturing myself? Why should I also just sit down, do nothing and be happy? Okay. Is that way you won't be humiliated, right? Hmm? So, will your life of respectability put any food on the table? Mummy, why don't you just stop? I don't oh, want to say, say anything. What do you want to say? I don't have anything to say. You don't have anything to say? Go. Sit in your chair, cut out more pictures. How many pictures has our prince the show cut out today? Huh? Then nothing to say. Why don't you just mommy, keep your mouth? Yeah, I, I'll talk to him. A show. Look. Do you have to? I just want to know whether you have to. I don't something. want to talk to anybody right now. <coughs> you know that mummy is the one that has kept this family going so far. You're no? still talking? Sita, you don't have to talk to him anymore. There's really no need to. I just have to come to my own decision now. Of course, you should. Ashok. Sure. Look, I don't want to say it. I don't. But I have to. If she cannot go on, why does she keep trying? I'm trying because... Because what? Nobody else in the family does. You said that again and again. You think that everything that mommy does is... That's exactly what I want to know. Why does she do it? Who does she do it for? She did it for me. Ah, you got up and left? She does it for kidney. Oh, she's becoming worse every single day. Ashok, she does it for daddy. Oh, poor guy. Don't you feel bad for him? Does it for you? Oh, please. I'm probably the worst, okay? But the real question is why? Why does she do it? How would I know? Uh, how would you know? You know about yourself, huh? Why did you run away with Manoj? I ran away because... Because, because what? You love him? Don't you think that's a little weak? So you are telling me that I ran away because... I warned you not to start this. Do you even know what you said? Do you? Alright. From now on, I'm going to look out for myself. You all better start taking care of yourselves too. I don't have many years left to live. I don't want to waste them worrying about you all. I've done what I could for this family. As far as I know, this is it. Definitely the end. Isn't that a good 
good thing? How is that a good thing? Well, it leads to something actually changing. Like the what? Anything. Things have been stuck here for years. I think See, it's time to get unstuck. You will like it if things are getting unstuck. I am just saying I want something to come to a conclusion, don't you? Listening to you nowadays is just terrifying. Ah, but you're not saying I'm wrong. I'm not saying you're right either. Still. It's not gonna get open like that. Then what do I do? Look for something sharp in the kitchen. How will I find something? What is that feel like a stranger in this house? Hmm, you feel like that now only, huh? Earlier mm -hmm. it was different. Ah, Ajay, when you felt like you just got up and left. Ashok, don't start again. Look, Vinny. Don't take this the wrong way. But I myself feel like a stranger here. I've been feeling like that since the day you left. Since the day I left? Probably before that, but I came to realize it only after you left. So after realizing this, what conclusion did you draw? That there is something about this family. God, not you two. Who else has that? No one. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about this family? You don't know. How would I know? I got it from you and you were saying, how would I know? You got it from me. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, it's one thing to not acknowledge that you know something like this, but even if you deceive others, how can you deceive yourself? So? Why? Every day you just go get someone to open this thing. If you can't open it, then why do you keep saying these things every day? No, you know. What do I know? Kendi? Kendi? Where does this girl go off to? Every morning she'll say, I won't go to school if I don't have my things. And today she's gone the whole day, but no one knows where she is. Kidney? Kidney? Get inside! I said get inside! What? Why Are you don't even think about it. Get inside. Let me. You're out of your mind. No, not yet. But this girl, I tell you. What did she do? What did she do? Why don't you ask her what she did? <laughs> tell me. What did you do? It's not what she was doing. It was she was telling something to someone. What was she telling? Ask her what she was saying. Come on, please tell me. Cat got your tongue. Cat didn't get her tongue. We're too busy telling what men and women do to each other in the bedroom. Huh? Are you asking what she was telling Sureka? I wasn't telling her. She was telling me. You were telling her. She was telling me. You were telling her and then you saw me right behind. You started to run away. I didn't run away. Sureka did. Are you did. Sureka did. You did. And then Wait. I caught you started howling. Then I beat on you and snitch on you and mommy's not home. Is that what happened? What are you saying? Sureka just started telling me and how her mommy and daddy were. Mm -hmm. Why were you so interested in knowing what her mommy and daddy are doing with each other? Are they not with each other? That's the main point. So shut up. <laughs> every, day, every day he beats me for any old reason. No one has anything to say to him. Fine. Why does he beat you every day? Because I don't let him take my things to give to her. Her who? She took the bangles I got for my birthday, the pen I won at school. And if I said tell mommy, he says he'll strangle me when we get home. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Hey, don't listen to her, eh? all that is nonsense. <laughs> Sorry. So then you're Varna on my bed. Varna who? That girl at the handloom center. Come, you're gonna kill her. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you going to go? Hey. Shut your mouth. Come here. 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 I'll make some tea. <laughs> I don't want tea. Just a cup. <coughs> There's no tea. I don't want any tea. Just a cup. I'm making for everyone. Hey, not for me, huh? Why not? You go get some tea. I'll put the kettle on. I don't want it. Make it for yourself. And have it alone. I made all these sandwiches also. I don't feel like it. I'm going to have tea with someone. So you're not staying? Jagmohan is coming to pick me up. So Mohan Akhtar is coming here mm -hmm. to pick me up. Why? So Neja Akhtar is also going to come. How do you know he's coming? Uh, Ashok called him and he said he wants to come talk to you. I have nothing to say to him. So what should I tell him when he gets here? Tell him I went off and that you don't know when I'll be back. What if he wants to wait for you? Let him wait. <coughs> this color looks nice. <laughs> Uh, so, boy, when will you be back? Pita, I have a lot to talk to him about. It might be late. I don't know. This color is even nicer. <laughs> so, if he asks where you have gone and who you went with then? Tell him that. I will tell you. 
tell him that Jabhon came to pick me up. So unkind. I'll put that away. Mommy, do you think it's a good idea to tell him? Why not? Because he might tell daddy. So what? Here, take this also away. But you know what will happen if daddy finds out. Pinny, I'm going to have tea. It's not a capital offense. But you know that daddy doesn't like to go on uncle. Uh-huh. <laughs> Does your daddy like anyone? Acha still, if you can try to come back a little early. Pinny, I have a lot of important things to talk to him. He had to cancel several meetings this evening just to meet with me. He's not a person that you can call. Pinny, I'm going to call. Where are you going now? Just around the corner, I'll be back. <laughs> what about Junaid's uncle? He's going to be here soon. I'll be back by then, I think. Acha, you... Oh, yes. Vinny, come here. I have to tell you something. Acha, let me put these things away first. Everything is untidy even inside the house. You put the mona Vinny! It won't be long. <coughs> I probably won't be here when you come here next. Mama, what are you talking about? That's why I called Jagmohan. So, Yes. I knew this day was going to come. Mama, have you thought this through completely? I have. You can go now. Mommy, I think you should think about it a little longer. Benny, go. How much <coughs> Day after day, year after year, this one must get this, that one must get that. How much longer should I think? How long and why? <laughs> home to office, office to home. Think a little, think a little. Chuck, chuck, kit, kit, chuck, chuck, kit, kit. Oh, what does Dredo think about? No more thinking. I don't care what happens. Hello, Cuckoo. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. Well, I saw you talking to yourself. I didn't want to interrupt. I was just waiting for you. Did you come straight from the office? More or less. Which means no. <laughs> now, now. I stopped by at the Pole Star, dropped off a design. After that, I went home, washed up and came directly here. Is that what you call coming directly? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Still scolding me like you used to. But I told you to come straight from the office without wasting a single minute. Hey, when did I waste any time? You can stop now. I'm used to all your excuses. And I'm used to you getting on my case for no reason at all. Ariane, why are you sitting now? Aren't we leaving? In a minute. Come, sit with me. Let's talk for a bit. Come. There was this urgency in your voice when you called me today. <coughs> Joe. What's the matter, Kuku? Sugar. I finally reached that point in my life that I've always been afraid of. I feel... Don't worry. It'll be alright. Truthfully, if you were to ask me the same question you asked me years ago... <coughs> Is anyone else at home? Benny's here. Benny's here? But I thought she had married. Yes, she came over yesterday. Ah, I haven't seen her in ages. She'll be out in a minute. Joe, I have a lot of important things to talk to you today. And that's why I'm here, to listen. From your voice on the phone, I could tell that you were very disturbed. I was. And you still are. You understand me so well. So well. The way I'm feeling right now, I... Come, come. I'm here now. Joe, you're the only person I can truly be myself with. You don't have to say it. You never have to say it. I know. It just came out. What I wanted to say was... No, no, no. I can't say it here. Let's go. I have a suggestion. What? Why don't we finish our chat here and then we'll go? Uh, no, 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 no. Not here. Why not? I just can't. 
But if you feel uncomfortable being seen out of the Ah, what are you saying? We we'll go wherever you want to. I just made a suggestion, that's all. <laughs> I know, I know. I never take what you say the wrong way. Alright. So, where do you want to go? Uh, wherever you want to. Wherever I want to. But did you always decide? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, how about Ginza's? We might be able to get a corner table there. As you wish. Ginza it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about York's? I don't think it'll be too busy at the start. Like I said, wherever you want. Oh, that place where you used to like the kebab so much. I haven't been there ever. Oh, that place. Well, I don't go there anymore, but uh, if that's where you want to go, sure. Before we leave, I want to tell you something. What? I... I came to a decision yesterday. Uh-huh. I know you've heard me say this many times in the past, but this time I'm serious. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Oh, just taking a look at this book. You probably don't believe me. I'm listening. Joe, it's always been very difficult for me to live here. You already know that. But now it's... It's impossible. So you're saying... Yes. I feel so terrible that on my account we had to go through such difficult times in the past. Well, to be honest, I don't think about all that anymore. I remember you saying, why worry about something if nothing will come of it? That's true. You also said that there's a difference between yesterday and today, right? Oh yes, big difference. Which is why I want to tell Mommy, you that I'm... the clothes that are kept to be ironed. Oh, hello Uncle. Hello, hello. Oh my God, is that really you? Who else could it be? <laughs> she used to be this little girl. Look at her, all grown up. Yes, her face has changed a lot. You run around in these little frock dresses. No, no, that was when I was much younger. Oh, remember she bit my hand? Huh? Little devil she was. Uncle, please take a seat. I'll be right back. Are, are, where are you running off to? I'll be right back, Uncle. <laughs> I can't believe she was this plump little girl with chubby pink cheeks. <laughs> and Now look at her. Uh, with time, everything fades away. <laughs> <laughs> I believe she uh, married of her own choice. She did. Mm. She made her own choice and look where it's landed her. So, shall we go? As you wish. Where shall I leave it? Oh, so, when should I say we'll be back? Just so she can know when to expect me. So whatever you want. Entirely up here. Shall I say we'll be a little late? Somebody else is coming home. Maybe she can tell him too. Someone else is coming to? Hmm. Janija, the man who is responsible for all this, I have told you everything you know, everything, right? Vinny? 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 Why does this girl disappear? We can wait for her to come back. No, 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 no. If that man arrives, it will be hard to leave. I have so many things to tell you today. It must be today itself. Let's go. But will you just leave the house with no one around? Someone will be back soon. Alright. For me, this place. Ears, 
would be here. But if I need someone to talk to Surika's mommy, he's nowhere to be found. Surika's mommy said something to you. Where's mommy? I need to come with me. Come where? To Surika's house. Surika's mommy told me to come and get her. But why? Everyone heard Ashok calling us. And when she went to beat Surika, she... She put the blame on me. <laughs> what did she say? The right teacher such things. And then? And then... Surika's mommy yelled at me so badly. She said that I spoiled her daughter. And where is mommy? Can take it right now? She said bad things about this family. About who in the family? Everyone. You, daddy, mommy, Ashok. Where is mommy? Mommy has gone out. Gone out where? Do you know other places she can go to? Now you're calling me too. If mommy can come, can you? No, 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 I can't. Why not? I just can't. Fine. Don't go there. Kinney, don't talk to me. Kinney? Are you out of your mind? Yes, I am. <laughs> Kinney, you are going to get a beating from me this time. Fine. Go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> Can you stop crying? No, I won't. He can't cry. Fine. Keep on crying. Keep on <laughs> you know, you've become very stubborn. <laughs> when we were your age, mommy would never let us say these things. But you, you are a favorite child. Did you do your homework today? No, the book told. If mommy can find time to buy me new books, none of this would have happened. Buy this, buy that. You know, you must have done something. That's why mommy said all these things to you. <laughs> Can you please come with me? No, I can't. Surika's mommy is going to be so mad. Please. Keep quiet, Kimi. <laughs> Who's knocking on the back door? At this hour? Oh, <laughs> I was wondering who could be knocking on the back door. I knew you were going to come, but you always come through the front door. I, I would have come through the front door, but uh, are, what happened to her? Kinney, come say hi to Junior's oh, uncle. Oh, she's been crying. What happened to her, princess? Ah, who upset her? Come on, come on, get up now. You're a big girl. Come on, come on. Yes, I'm a big girl. But I don't understand. You're not supposed to be a big girl and a little girl. I'm not coming back. Not till mommy's back. Did Savitri go out? Hmm. I got here a while ago, but uh, and I saw the New India car parked outside. <clears throat> I decided to take a stroll around the park. Your father told me that Jagmohan was back in town. Did you just drop in or? I don't know. Mommy would know. Stranger. Ashok didn't say anything. Maybe he didn't know. You met Ashok? Yes. At the bus stand. He said he was going to my house to see his father. Oh. Uh, he wanted me to go there with him, but uh, I said since I've come all the way here, I should at least see Savitri. I see. Condition I left him in. Oh, daddy. He didn't sleep all night. Is he ill? Yes, but the truth is, Bhayananath himself is responsible for his condition. Some tea. Who did you make all this for? They didn't even touch it. I, I made this for... I just thought that... Oh, so they left in a hurry, didn't they? Ah, Savitri knew I was coming, right? Yes. I wonder why Ashok didn't say anything. But the way he was talking, it did seem like... Oh, of course. Smart boy. How much sugar? No sugar. So Ashok wanted me to go with him because he knew Jagmohan was here. Some milk? A little. Uncle, shall I get some nagin for you? No, thank you. Please take a seat. Um, so where on did you go? 
I heard you just came back from a trip abroad. Uh, yes, but no ending. <coughs> How is Sushma? She's fine. Any kids? No, not yet. You're not saying much today, Uncle. What should I say? Anything. I have many things on my mind. If Savitri were here, I would have sent them to her. But now it all seems so pointless. Daddy's blood pressure. He didn't have a fainting spell again, right? Yes, as usual. Can't you make him understand? That Who can make him understand? He loves this woman so desperately. How do you know? Are you saying he doesn't love her? Things we've seen them do to each other in this house. Whatever you've seen, it doesn't matter. These are not things you can wave away, uncle. When I used to live here, sometimes I felt like I was trapped in a cage at the zoo. You have no idea what went on here. Daddy in a, in a screaming fit, ripping mommy's clothes to shreds, gagging her with them, beating her, dragging her to the, the bathroom and over the toilet and Horrifying scenes I've seen in this house. After all that, one might wonder why they stayed together. I know. Mahindranath himself has told me all this. He has told you all this? And you still think that... Yes. I still think that he loves her very much. How can you say that? Two people who spend most of their lives trying to destroy each other. I'm not saying they both love each other. Just him. So you actually think that? Absolutely. Otherwise, why would he have begged me so pathetically all morning to come here and somehow convince him? And if I hadn't come here, do you know what would have happened? What? He would have come here himself, without caring about anything, about what he did to him, to his health. And as you know, this is not the first time he's doing it. It's so difficult to persuade him to stay back. You know, I didn't really have much hope that things could be set right, but I was willing to try. But then when I came here and saw that New India car parked outside, whatever little hope I had was lost. It's just pointless to talk to her. I think I'm going to go. I have to get some medicines for him on the way back. Thank you, Vinny. Uncle. Yes. Will you tell daddy about this? About what? That Jagmohan uncle had come here. Why? I shouldn't. I just think that... Even if I don't, it won't make any difference. Uncle, are you sure nothing can be done? Maybe for a day or two. But permanently, no. Nothing can be done. If that's the case, then... Let go of my arm, Kini! Let go! She's back? Daddy is sick. Whenever he leaves home, he falls sick. It's the same thing every time. 
Acha, why don't you sit down first? Then we then we talk. Me, I'm fine. Go ahead. Well, I don't have much to say to you at this time, but maybe just one thing. Please. Can you please let him go? Me, let him go. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, it's not. You have him on a leash. I have him on a leash. Only you could have said something like that. Maybe because no one understands him better than I do. <laughs> you always seem to know more about this, haven't you? About Mahendra? Yes. And knowing him, I can definitely say that you have him trapped in your clutches so tightly that he can no longer stand on his own two feet. His own two feet? Has he ever had them? Of course he has. Don't forget, I've known him for ten years longer than you have. <laughs> Maybe that's why when I met him, he had already lost his feet. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you think and say about me, Savitri. I'm sure you do. There's so much more that Savitri never tells anyone. Acha? For example? Oh. That can wait. You came to say something to me. No, 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 no. Please, you go first. Good. Bini dear, can you leave us for a while? Huh. If I'm going to talk, she may as well hear it. Mommy, I, I'll just... I'm <laughs> asking you to stay. There must be a reason, no? Please, go ahead. <clears throat> Before I begin, let me ask you something. When is a man really a man? Don't ask questions. Just say what you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when they walk and talk like men, they're considered to be men. But don't you think there needs to be some substance, some identity of their own to be actually called a man? And you're saying all this about Mahindra because? Because ever since I've known him, he's always depended on someone else for everything. Should I do this or not? I'll ask me. Should I go there or not? Let me ask me. To find the smallest of things, it was always, will Janisha like it? Because <laughs> the big decisions in life always have to be made with Janisha's advice. Even the decision to marry me, how do you think he made it? With Janisha's consent. He's my friend. He's always trusted Which my... is probably why he has never trusted himself for anything. For everything in life, the standard has always been Juneja. What Juneja thinks, wants, does, Mahindra will think, want, do. <laughs> why? Because Juneja is a complete man. And Mahindra? <laughs> Not even a need of a man. That is your opinion? But the truth of the matter is something... The truth that I know is this. This a man, he starts a family. Why? To fulfill a need. What need? Let's just say there's something inside him. An incompleteness. A void. To fill that void, he starts a family to complete himself. But for your friend Mahindra? The meaning of his life has only ever been to fulfill other people's lives in whatever way they think they could use him. Use him? No. There's a job that needs to be done, but no one can do it. Okay, Mahindra can do it. Hey, someone needs to go there, but no one is available. Don't worry, Mahindra will go. This happened when the press started, again when the factory opened, every time he was needed, Mahindra was there. But later, there's nowhere. Withdrawn his share from the business, and spent all his money and on what? This, 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 this third rate, fourth rate pieces of junk? Things that he thought were making a home? True. Mahendra was impatient in these matters. But then there was a reason for that. Ah, uh, a reason was me, right? Isn't that what you're going to say? That to make me happy, he filled this house with all this junk and that is what led to his financial destruction? What really lay at the bottom of all this? What? And who? I think you know the answer to that question. Go on. Go on. I don't mind. After all, you are Mahindra's wife. Oh! Do not call me Mahindra's wife. Who? Will? 
called yourself his friends. Could not stand it. But he was a man with a wife and a family. And he got married to all of your friends. It seemed like something was taken away from you. Something that was yours. Mahindra doesn't laugh like he used to. He doesn't say before. He's just not the same Mahindra. Meanwhile, Mahindra, he tries desperately to stay the same Mahindra that he has always been. Because people should not say huh, that he has changed in any way. He's restless at home, bangs his head against the wall, slaps his wife around, even beats the kids. You know, his friends, <laughs> they need him for their leisure time. Party with our Mahindra is no party, picnic with our Mahindra is no fun. Yeah. His friend's leisure time companion becomes Mahindra's sole purpose in life. And not just his purpose, it becomes his family's purpose as well. How can you refuse to go there? You call yourself educated? Hey, you don't even know how to behave in company. A woman should walk like this, talk like this, smile like this. Why? Why do you always lower my position in front of other people? See, Mahindana, sheepishly walking on his friends. lived with him for the last 22 years. Oh, sure. You have lived with him for 22 years. And to a certain extent, you've got to know him. Oh, can you? All that you just said about Mahindrana, you said more or less the same things 20 years ago. Do you remember? <clears throat> can we stick to the present? 20 years is a lifetime ago. It was in my house. You came there to talk to me. You cried on my shoulder for quite some time. If you're going to talk about ancient history, I'd like her not to be here. She heard one half of the conversation. She might as well hear the other half. Uncle, I'll just... It's not me I'm worried about. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. So, you came to my house to talk to me. I was just a child back then. Child or not? You said the same things about Mahindra that you just did? that he was disgusting and obnoxious. But the people responsible for it at the time were different. They were his parents. That's right. They too are responsible for making him the way he is. It's a long list of people. Yes, yes, of course. 
But you see, Janeja was not on the list back then, was he? Shall I go on? Look, we don't have to talk. It was a long time ago. No harm in talking about it. I wasn't on the list because... Because I respected you, that's all. <laughs> I suppose you could call it respect. But the question is, why did you respect me? Not because you thought I was a better person than Mahindranath, but because? What? <laughs> because I thought you were rich and influential. Because whatever I was, whoever I was, I wasn't Mahindranath. So what? What are you trying to say? Patience. Let me finish. I wasn't very clear at the time what exactly that you wanted from me. But one thing was very clear, even back then. That you didn't think Mahindranath was a man that you could spend the rest of your life with. Even though I've spent my entire life with him. While trying to break it off every second or third year. Constantly looking for a way out. A fire exit. In the beginning, that fire exit was Juneja. After Juneja, the new object of your fascination was Shijit. Articulate. A fancy degree. A world traveler. But the truth is, what really mattered was that he was different. That he wasn't Mahendranath. Unfortunately, you soon realized that um, he was a two-faced, mean person. And that was that. Then came Jagmohan, a charming, well-dressed man, a big spender who knew many important people. But ultimately, it came down to the same thing. You were interested in Jagmohan because he was like, well, like Jagmohan and not like Mahendranath. But then you started complaining. Why does he spend so much money on other people? Why does he let other people criticize him to his face? And on and on. In a way, it was good that he got transferred out of town. There's no need for all these stories. Just say what you really want to say. What I'm saying is, if any of these men had been in your life, instead of Mahindranath, after a few years, you would have felt the same way about it, That you had married the wrong person. And then, you would have reached out in the same way to a Jagmohan, a Shivjit, or a, Jag or, or a Juneja. Because life to you has always been about how much achieved, acquired, experienced. And you could never get all that from one man. And so no matter who you spent your life with, you would have felt just as empty and restless as you do now. And that poor man, like Mahindranath, would be banging his head on the wall and tearing his clothes to shreds. You're laughing. <laughs> yes, I guess I am laughing. <laughs> But you, you please don't stop. You go on. <laughs> Today, Mahindranath is a depressed, miserable man. But there was a time he used to laugh from the heart. A time when no one was trying to pull him down or make him look deficient. All this while, have you only been observing him? Or have you also bothered to notice what's happened to the people around him? Oh, I've seen that too. I've seen you try to grab for so much that what you had just slipped away through your fingers. I've seen a sort of fear build up inside you. That sometimes made you cling to the safety of home and, and, and sometimes drove you away from it. And I've seen that fear turn into terror. The day you got a shock of your life. In your last attempt. What last attempt? Manoj! Manoj was a famous man. Trying to latch on to this fame was your last attempt. But when you discovered that that famous man had eloped with your daughter, it drove you mad. Okay, what are you saying? I'm sorry you have to hear all this, Bini. But the truth is, you probably still don't know Manoj as well as your mother does. Isn't that right? <laughs> uh, 
after Manoj left with Binny, you desperately tried to shake Mahindranath out of his stupor. Even Ashok. But when all those attempts failed, frustrated, you looked for another way out. And then you learned that Jagmohan was back in town. You went out with him tonight. What did you talk about? Do you think he had the right to know everything about me? <laughs> Maybe not. But I can make a pretty good guess about what happened at the meeting. You told him that you were very, very unhappy. He said he was very, very sympathetic with your situation. You said you just had to get away from here. He said, if only you had come to that decision years ago. You said, what didn't happen then could happen now. He said, he wished it could. But now there were complications, like the future of the children, and so on and so forth. You sat there, listening to him, dejected, wiping away your tears with a handkerchief. Finally, he said it was getting late for you. He got up, walked out, got in the car with him. On the way back, he probably offered to help in case you need any money. Stop it! That's Stop it! Just going on and on and on. Now, if you will please leave, I'd be very grateful. Do you know why I can make oh. such a good guess about what happened at your meeting with Jack Mohan? Because in his place, I would have said exactly the same thing. So, he drops you off outside and promises to call in a couple of days. You walk into the house all upset and promptly slap your daughter. When you left home, you had all these dreams of a full life ahead of you. And when you returned, just damp hands from crying into a handkerchief. Didn't I tell you to stop? All of you, you are all alike. You wear different masks, but your faces are exactly the same. Open the door! Open the door! Mommy, should I open the door? Not yet. Open it! You can't keep her locked up. Didn't I tell you? This is my house. I know how to take care of my kids. Fine! Well, I suppose you know best, or at least you think you do, which is why I believe things can't be set right anymore. So, let me ask you once again, can you please set him free? Why do you keep asking the same question again and again? Because by now he thinks he's helpless. <laughs> you made him believe that he can never get anything done without your help, which worked well for you. Even if you didn't have anything else, at least you had this wretched pawn in your hand. Please, just go and keep him there forever with you. It's best for him not to live here, nor for me. In fact, I don't need a pawn that can neither move nor let others move. Very well. He won't come back then. He may be attached to you, but not that attached. Mm. And he's not that helpless. If you just looked around him, you'd see a world full of possibilities. I'll make him see that. Sure, sure. That way you'll be doing him a favor <clears throat> and me too. All right. Time to go. I said what I had to say to you. I have to talk to him. It'll be difficult, but I'll see what I can. Are Ashok, you Vinny, <coughs> go get the walking cane from inside. Okay, what do you need it's that for? It's for daddy, go get it. He's outside in the auto. Daddy's back? Uh, uh, yeah. So he came back after all. Amy, open the door. I won't open it. Amy, open the door. You'll be big trouble. I don't get it. Not opening it. Amy. Oh, that must be daddy. Mahindra, careful, Mahindra. Careful, daddy. Careful.
the play Tanishta Mukherjee. Thank you again for coming. 